Our love affair is a wondrous thing that we'll rejoice in remembering. Our love was born with our first embrace. A page was torn out of time and space. Thank you for joining us and welcome to the seventh consecutive week of dedication and isolation because we're getting it out to the nation. My name is Scott Albertson and I am a performer, vocalist, producer, as well as artistic director of Project 142 concert series here in New York City. Project 142 is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. All donations are most welcome and also tax deductible. And thank you to the folks who have donated in the last three, four weeks. The uh, donations and donors are greatly, greatly appreciated. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Not enough thank yous for that. You can find information on Project 142 on www.project142.org. Facebook is Project 142 NYC. The next Project 142 concert will be July 15th, which is a Wednesday night, here 8 o'clock in New York City, and that'll be the Michael Drexler Solo Piano Concert. Now, we are back here once again today at PPI Recording, seventh week as it is, and that is a professional recording studio nestled here in the cradle of New York City. You can find information on PPI on www.ppirecording.com, and also Facebook is PPI Recording. And we have the owner of PPI Recording, and that would be Mr. Chip Fabrizi, who is in the engineer room, making these videos so wonderful and grand as we've been doing for the last seven weeks. So thank you so much for your help and your support and your expertise, Senor Chip Farabizi. Now, we're going to do something a little different. Each week, the dedication and isolation is a different concept or a different idea or a different dedication, different song, certainly. That today we haven't touched upon the Broadway songbook in seven weeks. Today we're going to do that. Now, I opened with An Affair to Remember. If you don't know that song, it's from the 1957 movie called An Affair to Remember, which is a remake from the 1930s, and it's absolutely stunning movie. It's, it's a five-hanky movie, as I call it, and it's with Cary Grant and Deborah Carr, and Deborah Carr sings the song in the movie, An Affair to Remember. And if you've never seen it, I encourage you to watch it, but also... Go on, because you're on YouTube, hopefully, you're watching this, and plug into Deborah Carr receiving honorary Oscar, and it's stunning to watch her acceptance speech of five minutes, because she was nominated six times for an Oscar and never won, and she still holds the record for being nominations and never winning. And it's so touching and so graceful how she said what she said. So in the movie, she sings the song, and I'm going to dedicate that song to all the folks who are in the movie head, but also to Dennis and Mary Ellen Monahan in Noah, Connecticut, because they just celebrated their 36th wedding anniversary. So happy, happy anniversary. And also I'm sending it out to David Saperstein, this song coming up, which is from the Broadway songbook. And David is a wonderful composer and pianist who has come to many of my gigs in the New York City in the last year and who has offered his talent, sat in with us, and we've done this song together. Not a lot of introduction for this song. It's Maria from West Side Story. The most beautiful sound I ever heard, Maria. Maria, Maria, Maria. All the beautiful sounds of the world in a single word. Maria, 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 Maria. Maria, Maria, Maria. I just met a girl named Maria. And suddenly that name will never be the same to me. Maria, I just kissed a girl named Maria, and suddenly I found how wonderful a sound can be, Maria. Say it loud, and there's music playing. Say it soft, and it's almost like praying. Maria, I'll never 
better stop saying Maria. The most beautiful sound I ever heard. Maria. Now, of course, from the same decade, late 50s into the early 60s, West Side Story became a smash hit. Play, movie, I mean, extraordinary, right? Left its mark on the music community and also the art community. So I want to send that out to the folks who've been asking for a Broadway tune and send that energy out for the Broadway community because you're not forgotten. We miss you and hope that you're back with us again soon performing and putting that wonderful community out there that is known as Broadway. So that's for Dennis and Mary Ellen Monaghan for their anniversary, David Saperstein. And we're going to be back here again on June 16th, a week from today. Now, I've been promoting Project 142 for the last seven weeks. Today it's going to, or I'm sorry, next week is going to come full circle, June 16th, next Tuesday, because I've asked one of the Project 142 upcoming artists to join me. And he's going to be here next week, the 16th. His name is Alex Rubenstein. Absolutely terrific, killer, 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 wonderful classical concert pianist. And Alex is is going to perform for you and also showcase him to promote his concert coming up in October 17th of this year, 2020. So please join me here next week. Thank you for all the wonderful subscriptions, likes, sharings on the YouTube channel. If you'd like to offer a suggestion for a dedication and isolation song, please do so in the YouTube channel comments. And please keep those cards and letters coming, as I used to say years ago. But keep, please keep all those likes, sharings, and subscriptions and YouTube comments coming. It's all a big, big help to keep this promoting along or pro propelling along. So for Chip for Breezy. PPI recording owner, myself, we'll see you here again next week. Stay well, be well, and God bless, and thank you again for watching.